Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. So, we continue with uh, Narana Pandita. So, in this uh, second lecture on uh, Ganita Kaumudi, I will be talking about uh, the meeting of travellers, then progressions, so, and a very important uh, topic, the Vara Sankalita, sum of sums, the Kate sum. So, then uh, a cow problem, which is a application of this. So, then some progress in cyclic quadrilaterals uh, Narana Pandita has made. So, that is the diagonals of a cyclic quadrilateral. He introduced the concept of a third diagonal <coughs> and so on. So, then construction of rational triangle with rational sides, perpendiculars and segments. And then lastly, some generalization of binomial coefficients and generalized Fibonacci numbers. <coughs> Suppose two travelers are uh, there, it's, they start from two uh, places the distance between which is d. So, then the two persons they suppose they started from these places simultaneously in opposite directions with v 1 and v 2. So, the following rule gives the rules for their times of meeting. So, they will meet several times. <coughs> so, distance divided by the sum of the speeds happen to be the time for the first meeting. Twice the quotient obtained by the division of distance by the same is the time of meeting again after that meeting. Tasmin yoga, Yugune yoga, Tasmat punar yoga, and they are meeting again, second meeting. So, it is illustrated in this figure. So, one person is starting from here, other person is starting from here. So, first they meet at, he is travelling with uh, speed v1, this person with speed v2. So, they meet, uh, let us say, here first. So, then <coughs> clearly so this is x. So, then this fellow is travelling distance x with the speed v 1. So, x by v 1. So, that must be equal to. So, this will be d minus x d minus x by v 2. So, solving for x we get uh, d v 1 by v 1 plus v 2. The time of meeting is x by v 1 is d divided by v 1 plus v 2. So, that is the uh, this thing. And the second meeting is at B, where you know again. So, this fellow will proceed towards it and comes back. Similarly, he will also proceed and come back. So, we can work out all these things. So, the second meeting will be uh, it will be 3D V1 by uh, 3D divided by V1 plus V2, that is from the beginning. So, that will be the time of meeting. So, time between the first and second meetings will be 2D by V1 plus V2. So, that is a simple result. So, he has given some example for this. The distance between two towns is 300 dojanas. Yojana trishato yentaha purayoho antaram kayoho. So, ekadasha gatistva eko navayojana gaha paraha. So, one is uh, having a speed of 10, 11 yojanas per some time per day, other 9 yojana, now yojana. So, tell quickly the times of their uh, meetings. So, you can work it out. So, time of first meeting is 15, then second is 45 after the, I mean, from the beginning. So, time between meetings is 30. Okay. Then, travelling along a circle. <coughs> See, suppose two people are travelling in a circle like this. So, then what is the, when do they meet? Okay. Suppose they start with different speeds v 1 and v 2. So, then see let v 1 be greater than v 2. Then suppose let them meet at x at a distance from p. So, that means if they are meeting that means the person who was travelling fast, he would have completed one circle and then extra you see and the second person will be meeting here. So, the distance travelled by one who is moving with higher speed is c plus x is d x 
and the distance travelled by 2 is x. So, you got c plus x by v1 is x by v2. So, solving for x we get x is equal to c v2 by v1 minus v2 and time of heating is c by v1 minus v2. So, this is you know applied this is applied in um, astronomy this is called you know for to calculate what is known as a synodic period. See suppose a planet you are seeing that it is moving around the earth as you observe it. So, then they move with different speeds when are they at in conjunction ok. So, that is what is uh, this thing you know. See for instance sun and moon when they are they are apparently they are moving with respect to the earth right in a circle two different circles. But of course, does not matter with even though they are different circles the angular speed will be what is what counts ok. So, when they are in conjunction so then that will be this Amavasya or new moon day then, then again how much is that. So, that you can calculate by circumference divided by the difference in velocities ok. So, next an important uh, result is uh, doing suppose you have got this you know this first sum of the in, uh, integer second sum or uh, some sum of square sum of cube. So, they are uh, old, old results by that time uh, you know, Narayana Pandita wrote his work it had been uh, they had been discussed threadbare in the earlier works and second sum is also the second sum is also uh, stated in Aribati onwards. So, now he considered an arithmetic progression with these terms that is each term is a sum of an arithmetic series ok. So, the rth term will be this 1 plus 2 etcetera a plus r minus 1 into d. So, sum of this arithmetic progression you see you have to sum over this r is equal to 1 to n. So, then you will get like this. So, and he gives the so slightly more general kind of a thing you see. So, from the uh, sum of and sum of sums of integers you are going to the arithmetic progression kind of a thing. So, this will be the so, the stated is uh, ok I have not given the Sanskrit first does not matter. So, now a very very important uh, advancement in uh, Ganita Kaumudi I would like to talk about it. See earlier we had the sigma of r you see sorry this must be n into n plus 1 by 2. So, that is when you sum from 1 to n the sum of first n integers is n into n plus 1 by 2 then sum of sums. So, that is n into uh, that is sum of this you know. So, if you sum this once so then it will be n into n plus 1 by 2 now sum this from r is equal to 1 to n. So, we write it like this 1 to n. So, that is n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 by 1 into 2 into 3. So, this is given by you know earlier uh, um, mathematicians. The last is the sum of this sums are the second sum. So, Narayana Pandita generalizes this to the kth sum. Suppose, you do it k times. So, then that is equal to n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 etcetera up to n plus k divided by 1 into 2 into 3 divided by k plus 1. So, this is equal to n plus k c k plus 1. So, this is a very important result it has not been stated in earlier in uh, Indian mathematics literature. <coughs> this result is stated in uh, Yukti Basha also without referring to Narayana Pandita. So, probably uh, they would have discovered it themselves also because I mean that is at a fairly advanced level that they are doing. So, they might have done it because other things which they have you know borrowed from they have always you know quoted you know uh, Lagumanasa or Leeravati they always quoted. So, this is not quoted so probably they did it anyway and this plays a very crucial role in the infinite Taylor series for sine and cosine functions and uh, this is how Narayana Pandita states it. Ekadika varamitaha padadi rupottaraha prutak temshaha ekod jekachaya hara stad dhato vara sankalitam. Vara sankalita is called. So, number of terms say n is the first term of in of an uh, arithmetic progression and one the common difference. Those that is terms of the AP, their numbers being one more than the number of times the sum is to be taken or the numerator. Then one needs to be the first term of another AP and one the common difference these are the denominators and uh, their product is the kth sum of n. So, very 
ಘಾತು ಮಾರ್ಜನ್ ಸೊ ಈಸ್ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ಲಿ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಯಾ ಎನ್ ಇಂಟು ಎನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇಂಟು ಎನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕೆ ಅಪ್ ಟು ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಈ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ದೋಸ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ದನ್ ದ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗೋ ನಮ್ಮ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಅಪ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ನಮ್ಮ ದಿಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ ಬಿ ಟೇಕನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೊ ದ ಎನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕೆ ಶುಡ್ ಕಮ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ನೌ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಯೂಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ನೋಟೇಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿ ಎನ್ ಕೆ ಕೆ ಎಚ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಹಿ ಈಸ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ಸೋ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ಹೌ ಈಸ್ ಇಟ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಎಸ್ ಎ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಮ್ಸ್ ಇಸಿ ಸೊ ಇ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಸಮ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಎ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೆ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಥಿಂಗ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸಮ್ ದೆನ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಸಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಗೆಟ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಸಮ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ದಿ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಸಮ್ ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಸೊ ಈಸ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ದ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಕೆ ಎಚ್ ಸಮ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ಶೋ ದಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಕೆ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸಮ್ ವೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಸಮ್ಡ್ ಓವರ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಗೆಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಟು ಶೋ ದಟ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಶೋ ದಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಸ್ಯಾಟಿಸ್ಫೈಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಯು ಕೆ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸಮ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಸಮ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಒನ್ ಟು ಎನ್ ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ನಾವು ವಿ ಎನ್ ಕೆ ಇಸ್ ಎನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕೆ ಸಿ ಕೆ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸೊ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎನ್ ಸಿ ಆರ್ ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕೆ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸಿ ಕೆ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಒನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಎನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಕೆ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸಿ ಕೆ ಸೊ ವಿ ಎನ್ ಕೆ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ವಿ ಎನ್ ಕೆ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ವಿ ಎನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಕೆ ಸೊ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ರಿಪೀಟೆಡ್ಲಿ ಸಿ ದಿಸ್ ಅಗೈನ್ ವಿ ರೈಟ್ ಎಸ್ ವಿ ಎನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಕೆ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ವಿ ಎನ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟು ಕೆ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಫೈನಲಿ ಯು ಗೆಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವಿ ಎನ್ ಕೆ ಅಪ್ ಟು ವಿ ಎನ್ ಕೆ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಬಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಿ ಒನ್ ಕೆ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಸಮ್ ವಿತ್ ಒನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ ಇಸಿ ಸೊ ಕೆ ಎಚ್ ಆರ್ ಕೆ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಸಂಟ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಒನ್ ಕೆ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ವಿ ಒನ್ ಕೆ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಎನ್ ಕೆ ಈಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಸಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಿಸಲ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಗಿವನ್ ಸಿ ಸೊ ಪ್ರೊಸೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾನರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಕೆನ್ ಬಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಸ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಲೋಯರ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಸಮ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಎನ್ ಕೆ ಈಸ್ ಕೆ ಇಚ್ ಸಮ್ ಈಸ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ದ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಝೀರೋ ಸೊ ನಾವು ವಿ ಆರ್ ಝೀರೋ ಇಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸಿ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಆರ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಝೀರೋ ಇಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಆರ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಆರ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಎನ್ ಕೆ ಈಸ್ ಇಂಡೀಡ್ ದಿ ಕೆ ಎಚ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಎನ್ ಇಂಟೀಜರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ನಾವು ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಲ್ಯುಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟೆಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಅ ವೆರಿ ಫೇಮಸ್ ಕೌ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಇನ್ ಗಣಿತ ಕೌಮುದಿ ಸೊ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಅಬ್ದಾಸ್ ತರಣ್ಯಾಬ್ ದೋ ನ ದೋನಾಹ ಊನಃ ಪೃಥಕ್ ಪೃಥಕ್ ಯಾವದ್ ಅಲ್ಪತಾಂ ಯಾಂತಿ ತಾನಿ ಕ್ರಮಶೈಕಾಧಿಕ ಏಕಾಧಿಕ ವಾರಾಣ ಪದಾನಿ ಸ್ಯು ಹಿ ಗಿವ್ ದ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸಬ್ಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಟು ನೋ ದ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಓಕೆ ಸಬ್ಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ ದ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಅ ಕಾಫ್ ಬಿಗಿನ್ಸ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಬರ್ತ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಸಕ್ಸೆಸಿವ್ಲಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಪರೇಟ್ಲಿ ಟಿಲ್ ದ ರಿಮೈಂಡರ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಸ್ಮಾಲರ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ಸಬ್ಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿವ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ನಂಬರ್ ಫಾರ್ ರಿಪೀಟೆಡ್ ಸಮ್ಮೇಷನ್ ತಾನೆ ಕ್ರಮಶೈಕ ಏಕಾಧಿಕ ವಾರಾಣ ಓಕೆ
so then in the sixth year this also will start okay so all the you know calves will you know who are born in successive years they will start producing their own calves in the successive years so they will be that is the second third column will be this second column will be that so then again these you know so this is the fourth year from the seventh year onward there will be the third generation of cows so that is what is happening <coughs> The calf born in the first year would produce its first offspring in the fourth year. This and the one born in second, etc. So total number of second generation calves will be one plus two, etc. Seventeen. Okay. First generation is one plus one. Second generation is one plus two plus etc. Up to seventeen only. No, seventeen. We will see that. Yeah. Similarly, the total number of third, fourth, fifth, sixth, etc. Will be V fourteen two, V eleven three. See third sum of eleven. Second sum of fourteen, third sum of eleven, uh, fourth sum of eight, fifth sum of five, and sixth sum of two. So no more generations within twenty years. As the eighth generation would be only in the twenty-second year. So let me. The table it will be clear. You see, the first generation is one, 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 etc. First year, you see, it will go on. In the next slide also it goes on. Then the second generation, you see. V one zero is equal to one, V two zero is equal to two because the one born in the second year also is giving so three etc. So second generation if you sum, you will get one plus two etc. Up to seventeen because it goes from four to twenty, so it is seventeen one plus after up to seventeen. The third generation will be so this one, you see, V one zero that will give one, then next in the Eighth year, one plus two. You see that will become, okay. So next will be like that, you know. <coughs> so the second sum will come, and uh, so, uh, in the fourth generation it will be so like that. V one two, etc. So fifth generation. So V twenty zero. That is only just twenty. Then V seventeen one. So that is seventeen into seventeen plus one by two, and this will be fourteen. This is fourteen into fourteen plus one into fourteen plus two divided by one into two into three. So like that. So this is the seventh generation of the offsprings. So total will be total progeny produced by the Gomata is you know twenty seventeen one plus <laughs> fourteen two etc. So twenty plus seventeen into eighteen by one into two. Plus fourteen into fifteen into sixteen by one into two into three, etc. etc. Okay. So finally, it will be two seven four four. So we have to add one if we want to include the original initial cow also. So that will be the total number. So this is the direct application of the. So then, of course, we'll talk uh, about the kth sum of a series in. Arithmetic progression. So uh, consider an arithmetic progression y a y plus d etc. to y plus n minus one d. First term is y. Common difference is d. Number of terms is n. Then the he has given this result. Rupaonita padavara ja sankalitam syaccha y guna ha saprutak y ka adika charagno y ka parapto mukhe guno bhavati. सगुण ज्ञाद्युतरै योग सैद वारजम गणित द के सम ऑफ एन नंबर ऑफ टर्म्स लेस वन एक्सेट्रा आई मीन आई मैट एज वेल गिव द रिजल्ट इन द दिस थिंग सो व्हाट इज डूइंग इज देयर इज एन अर्थमेटिकल प्रोग्रेशन सो के सम ऑफ दैट सो दैट इज गिवन बाय द रिजल्ट सो हाउ डू वी अंडरस्टैंड इज द फर्स्ट सम इज दिस इज ही व्हेन यू सम एन अर्थमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन द फर्स्ट सम विल बी दिस y n plus n into n minus one by two into d, right? That is in a sum of an arithmetic progression. First term y, common difference is d, and uh, number of terms n. So now you have to sum over this. So make it into r, and then r is going from one to n. You see that is a. So k sum will be k minus one sum of this. K minus one sum of y n plus n into n minus one by two into d. So k minus one sum of n plus d into you see this is uh, 
this is uh, uh, um, this is actually first sum of n minus 1 so k minus 1 is there so k sum of n minus 1 as the first sum n minus 1 is n into n minus 1 by 2 so finally you get this result because k minus 1 sum of n is this right n into n plus 1 you should go up to n plus k minus 1 and so k terms are there and below again k terms 1 into 2 etc k plus d into k sum of n minus 1 so which is n minus 1 you should start and n minus 1 plus k so like this so this is the final result. So for instance he gives an example adihi samiranamitha prachayasthi sankhyo gacheshu saptasu vadasu prardha buddhe varahi payonidhi mitahi parivartanena chat kim phalam phalam kanitam matsaratasthi chechet first term first term of an arithmetic progression is 5 common difference is 3 3 sankhya right and the number of terms is 7 number of is gacha you know gacheshu saptasu oh best among learners okay he is wooing the <laughs> his audience tell quickly the fourth sum of this thing you see payonidhi varahi if you have passion for mathematics tell the sum by in changing the ingredients also so a is 5 d is 3 common difference n is 7 k is 4 so if you plug in these numbers here you get the result this is 1806 one can work out changing the ingredients what he is saying is make it 6 and other kind of a thing so <coughs> then the geometric progression uh, nothing new as far as I could see Upon, you know from what is given in Ganita Sara Sangraha and Leelavati then uh, some of Ruttas and all those uh, these things that is also same as in Leelavati. So, in geometry <coughs> in Ganita Kaumudi in chapter 4. So, all the results of geometry in Ganita Sara Sangraha and Leelavati are stated here and adds many results of his own especially, especially rational triangles and quadrilaterals and also generalizes many results. So, you might have noticed this you know I always try to generalize the results given in earlier works. So, we give some interesting results in geometry of plane figures. See for instance gross area of a regular polygon with n sides. So, he gives the n sides. So, suppose the side is s. So, in the gross area he says is n squared minus n into s squared by 12 where s is the side and uh, I, it does not come out all right and even in approximation of large n I find that it will be n squared minus 3 by 12 into s square. Apart from of course, we are already made a uh, approximation of pi being equal to 3. Okay. So, it is not clear what the approximation is anyway it is a very small result here. So, after many other gross results Narayana states that you know the earlier gross results have been stated for novice calculations due to occasional disagreement between gross and exact results I have not much respect for them he himself is stated ok. So, it is only maybe to you know test the alertness of the students <laughs> whatever it is anyway, but many of them in you know, approximations do make sense. Then diagonal of a cyclic quadrilateral. So, <clears throat> I will not go into, into detail of this earlier result ok. So, area of a you know that area of the cyclic quadrilateral is this then the diagonal of the uh, this thing is 2 diagonals you know how to get it you see that is the result famous result due to Brahmagupta divide the sum of the products of the sides about both the diagonals for each other multiply the quotients with the sum of the products of opposite sides square roots of the products of the diagonals in a quadrilateral. Now comes the new thing. So, new thing he is saying he introduces the concept of a third diagonal. So, which will be very useful in many results on cyclic quadrilaterals. In all cyclic quadrilaterals the new diagonal new of course, in, uh, it does not say the diagonal obtained by the interchange of its face and flank side is a third diagonal. So, this is this is. So, this is your um, cyclic quadrilateral A B C D 
so these are the diagonals right bd and uh, ac they are the diagonals so call them e and f so the expression for that is you know fairly straight forward we have already done that of course the result may look slightly different because my order of the sides may be you know you please check you know so here you know it is a b c d so a b and c d are the opposite pairs so when you are uh, comparing with other results please mark this anyway so now he is saying you know see in now you get another quadrilateral you know by making dc prime is equal to bc so they are essentially interchanging the side so dc prime is equal to bc and bc prime is equal to cd so essentially these two sides are and this diagonal are kept same the, the upper flanks you know you can say they are interchanged so that is this thing and then <coughs> so ab c prime d that is the uh, new uh, cyclic quadrilateral and this is ac prime is the third diagonal so that is the thing and uh, a third diagonal and very easily you can find out the third diagonal because essentially what have you done in getting this new diagonal essentially these sides b and c have interchanged right see see this upper this thing so instead of c this is become b and this in this is instead of b it is become c so that's the thing only i interchange b and c so diagonal expression also is straight forward only you have to express this thing you know so instead of interchange b and c so a b plus c d so this will be a d plus b d that will be then a c plus b d so that is it. so this is the third diagonal so it plays a very important role in um, the uh, proof for the area of a cyclic quadrilateral and also for the area of the circum diameter so that the nukti basha it is proved and um, the other speakers one of them probably professor ram subramaniam will prove that result which is given in nukti basha so for that this concept is very crucial the third diagonal plays an important role so what is the relationship between the original quadrilateral yeah that's what he has given no the interchange of sides Upper sides, yeah. You interchange one pair of sides. Yeah, yeah. And you got a new diagonal. Yeah, yeah. And therefore, what? No, the, 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 this comes in various things. I will, we will we'll see. That will, you know, the new diagonal has come. But what is the use of that? Yes, several results. As I said, using this, it is very important for you uh, proving the uh, this expression for this uh, area of a cyclic quadrilateral. You have to use this concept of third diagonal. <coughs> yeah, that is the thing. Quadrilateral has remained unchanged. No, no, but that's how they are using. You see, ah, okay. so it is as important as the first two diagonals of the original quadrilateral. Perhaps that is what they mean. Yeah, yeah. It's not a third diagonal of the same quadrilateral. By interchanging sides again, you will not get any more. Any more this thing, yeah. So you will end with three. So you interchange any other sides, you will get back the same three. That's why there are three diagonals. Also. Yeah. because if you even if you interchange this the order will be different but you will get the same this thing you know so maximum you can generate three yeah. probably yes yes that is the thing so then you will get the circum diameter i have already given this result earlier you see see suppose you were uh, the sides a and b see, suppose this is a triangle a b c so then this bq is perpendicular to ac it may not appear in the figure like that but it is take it like that so suppose this is that perpendicular r so then he states that d is equal to ab by r this is the brahmagupta result which i don't have to uh, say again and uh, it is perpendicular and you can also write it as d into f by p see suppose you take instead of that you know this this triangle you see so any circle triangle you see the circum uh, uh, diameter will be the product of the sides and uh, divided by the perpendicular you see so that is the thing so this is the result here also then the 
area of a cyclic quadrilateral is stated in the following multiply the sum of the products of the sides lying on the same side and divide the product by four times the circum radius that is the area of the equilateral and other quadrilaterals he says so this is the expression for the area <coughs> so they would have is very clear because you know you can consider it as two triangles you know so a b uh, these two triangles and you know those perpendiculars are there so from that you can get the Uh, result okay okay because the half base into altitude and altitude itself is given in terms of the two sides and circumdiameter that is the thing you see that is what you are doing did you get the point so the abcd is a cyclic quadrilateral the area of this cyclic quadrilateral can be thought to be the sum of the areas of the triangle abd and bcd so area of triangle abd plus area of triangle bcd call this as a1 and call this as a2 now this area of this triangle abd is half base into height you can consider bd as the base half bd into height so which is essentially you drop a perpendicular from a to this base bd call it as p1 so bd is f so half f into p1 now the circum radius of the triangle circum radius if you call it as r triangle abd r so this is the product of the two sides ab into bd divided by phi is the perpendicular so this is essentially ad divided by 2 into now the perpendicular is p1 so you get p1 is equal to ad divided by 2r so substituting that here substituting that here one can see that this is equal to 1 by 4 into ad into f divided by 4r so this is the area of the triangle abd so the similarly the area of the triangle bcd so which is a2 so same logic will apply instead of ad you will get bc here so bc into the base is the same f divided by r so the area of the quadrilateral cyclic quadrilateral is equal to a1 plus a2 is equal to 1 by 4 into ad plus bc into f divided by r so this is what has been stated okay so then alternate expression yeah see for instance he gives the result that the radius circum radius is equal to efg by 4a so this is where you know so neatly it comes that the radius is equal to the product of all the three diagonals divided by four times the area so alternately so chaturahata pala vihrute trikarana gate thava hrudayam hrudayam is the circum radius alternately the product the three diagonals divided by four times the area so that is the circum radius so this will you know introduce some symmetry in the thing you know so all these things are somewhat equivalent 
and radius comes out neatly as the product of all the three diagonals divided by the four times the area. Then construction of integral cyclic quadrilaterals, I will not have too much time, <coughs> I will not go into that in detail. See for instance, he will start from two triangles, right triangles like this, R square minus S square, 2 R S, R square plus S square, P square minus Q square, 2 P Q, P square plus Q square. See if R S, and P Q etc are uh, uh, yeah, rational number, this also will be rational, okay. So then actually you can get, if you are integers, there will be integers. So you can get an integral quadrilateral using this, starting from this, where the sides and perpendiculars etc are given in this figure. So what is important is not only the sides, but the various perpendiculars, the various segments etc, they are all integral here, you see. So it is highly quite a non-trivial result. So it will take some time to explain, but he has constructed, that is why there is some extra factor, you know, R squared plus S squared everywhere, otherwise that need not have been there. So that this is to make um, all the other things also, like perpendiculars and segments also integral. So he gives this result. So then <coughs> he gives a very interesting result, construction of rational triangles whose sides differ by unity. So <coughs> he says that, so this is you know what we have want is a triangle with sides x minus 1, x plus 1 and uh, yeah, uh, yeah, x, x, x minus 1, x plus 1, okay. So, where all the sides are integral, you can say what is so great, you know, because you can choose any x and you can keep, you know, a triangle is determined by three sides. But what he wants is all the perpendicular segments, they should all be integral, okay. So, that is what he is doing, he is given, uh, giving this thing. So, the uh, construction is so as follows, device twice an optional number by the square of the optional number less 3, add 1 to thrice the square of the quotient, twice the square root of the sum is the base, 1 added to and subtracted from the base are the flank sides. So what he is saying is that, you know, krutya trihina yaptamcha tatskutis triguna saika mulam jugunam buhu saiko nadika bahuhu. So essentially, finally, he is giving, if you are having this kind of a uh, situation, so then using the um, theorem of the right triangle, one can easily see that the solution for this is if n is this, I mean x is this in terms of n, then this will be a rational triangle with all the perpendiculars and segments also being this thing. Okay. Now, very important thing is now he will generate an infinite number of triangles with uh, uh, this kind of a procedure. So, that is uh, what is stated here. I will give the, I will tell you what he wants to do. See, so it essentially, see you are, you are you are having this kind of a thing. You see, this is a triangle, right? This is a triangle, and considering the fact that these are these are right angle triangle, one can easily get this result 3 by 4 x squared minus 3 is equal to y squared. See x and y should satisfy this relation you see, but y is a perpendicular. Okay. So now, yeah. now you know he will say that you know where x is the base, y is the perpendicular. So let the solutions for the base be written as x1, x2, etc and the corresponding perpendiculars y1, y2, etc. Suppose we have found xj and yj up to j is equal to i minus 1. So then it is stated that new solution xi, yi can, can be found using xi, x, uh, uh, xi is equal to 2 into xi minus 1 plus yi minus 1 and yi is equal to 3 into xi minus 1 plus yi minus 2. Okay. So this is what is given in the verse. 3 being the length of the perpendicular and 4 the base of the first right angle triangle and its infinite pairs of right angle triangles are produced in which sides increase by unity. In these the perpendicular from the vertex to the respective base is sum of the thrice the previous base added to the still previous perpendicular and the base is thrice the sum of the previous perpendicular added to the previous base. 
So, this is what he is stating. So, this is in the spirit of yesterday and today, it is a bhavana. This is a bhavana or a composition law, samasa bhavana in this case, right. So, you are getting from Brahma Gupta, right, x i y i, if you have a, a pair of integers which is satisfying the uh, Varga Prakriti equation x squared minus d y squared is equal to k. Of course, there you talk of two of them x 1 squared minus d y 1 squared is equal to k 1, then x 2 squared minus d y 2 squared is equal to k 2. So, then you can generate another pair which will satisfy this with k 1 k 2 as the shape. So, that was discussed in detail how to get that how that x is in terms of x 1 x 2 and uh, things like that by 1 by 2. So, these are another bhavana kind of a thing. So, from this x i plus 1 y i plus 1 can be found and so on. The simplest equation of course, is you know this uh, the 0. So, that is not a solution. Then take next is x 1 is equal to 4 y 1 is equal to 3. So, then here 3 by 4 x squared minus 3 is equal to y squared. So, that is uh, satisfied. In this case, one segment of the base is 0 and the other segment is the base itself. So, that is 4, the upright is 3 and the hypotenuse is 5. So, we can prove this, I will not go into the proof, it is a simple proof. Okay. So, <coughs> uh, so, induction, I mean, so that is one if you are generated up to i, the next still is <laughs> that is what is given here, you are generating the next uh, set of values. So, I will, uh, this is quite some, you know, just some uh, manipulations with uh, right triangles and so on. So, this is the sequence. So, this is correct. One can show that uh, this is, you know, this will satisfy all the criteria. So, <coughs> the for instance, if you take x 0 is equal to 2, y 0 is equal to 0, you start from that. So, this will satisfy those uh, equations. x 1, you talk, take this and uh, y 1, 4, 3. Okay. Then, you start from 4, 3, other sides are x minus 1 is equal to 3, x plus 1 is equal to 5 and the segments are 0 and 4 as I told this will collapse, but the next will be 14, 12, x 2 will be 14, y 2 will be 12. So, x is equal to x 2 is equal to 14 and 12 this is a perpendicular. The other sides are 13 and 15, 13, 14 and 15 are the sides and the segments are 5 and 9. So, this is the essentially the first kind of a so, the one of the segments is 0 here. So, 3, 4, 5. It will not collapse, sorry, it is just you know one segment is 0, that is all. It is a valid triangle, it is a right angle triangle, that is all. Okay. So, next is you know uh, this triangle 13, 12, 13, 14, and 15 that you will get, and from that you will get 51, 53, 52 with these as the perpendiculars and all that. So, these are integral solutions for sites with differing by unity as well as perpendiculars and segments. So, clearly there are an infinite number of solutions. So, these are the kind of nice uh, tricks that he does. So, then of course, I will not be dealing too much with combinatorics, but uh, little bit I will tell it that is there in the 13th chapter called Ankapasha. <coughs> it is a very elaborate one containing many rules new results on permutations and combinations. So, he considers a generalized Fibonacci sequence he described here. So, we already heard about it Fibonacci sequence is 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 12 etcetera and if p n denotes the nth term in the sequence it satisfies this relation. The same thing as what uh, Professor Srinivas talked about he was using the symbol s instead of p. So, s and this thing. And uh, he was also explaining how it occurs, you know, naturally in this, you know, suppose you assign the value 1 to a laghu and 2 to a guru, okay. Then with a given number of matra, that is the num total number, you know, then how many, uh, common, how many pa pa possibilities are there, you see. See, suppose there is only 0 of it is, suppose, 1, 1 only, okay. 1 is 1. 8, 13, 13. Ah, 8, 13, of course, sorry, 8, 13, okay. So, suppose you have only 1, the total is 1, then can it can only be 1, then suppose it is 2, then is 1 plus 1, are the, these are the partitions or it can be written as 2, 
that is two lagu or one guru right and three is one plus one plus one so three lagus and also or one lagu and one guru written in two these things say so totally there will be three ways so like that so <coughs> and this is what will lead to you know this relation also this nice relation and uh, you will get the things so he generalizes this and it can be shown that this pn will be equal to n c 0 plus n minus 1 c 1 plus etc up to n minus m c m where this m is n by 2 if n is even and m is equal to n minus 1 by 2 if n is odd. I think this also was I think done in that lecture. So one can check that this will satisfy the recursion relation like this. Okay. So remember the uh, origin of this kind of how this code this is this are understood. Okay. See suppose you have got this total is n n minus 1 and n minus 2. Okay. So then what was explained earlier was that you know suppose you have got this uh, <coughs> n minus 1 matra kind of a thing. So then you add a lagu to each of them. Okay. So that will become n you see total will be n and similarly if you have n minus 2 okay n minus 2 you add a guru to each of them okay at the end so this if this is this number is yes n minus 1 so this number is yes n minus 2 the total will be sn the total number of uh, the arrangements such that the, the total becomes uh, n right so that uh, uh, to totally the same so that is the uh, logic here totally zen actually yeah the number is s n s n etc so now he goes to the uh, fibonacci numbers in fact actually appeared 600 years earlier in the work ruttajati samuchiya virahanka who arrived at the recurrence relation p1 pn is equal to pn minus 1 plus pn minus 2 in the context of a discussion of matravrutas or moric meters this was discussed in an earlier lecture by professor md shinvas Narayana Samasiki sequence is essentially a generalization of the sequence discovered by Virahanka in the context of prosody. It is essentially a generalized Fibonacci sequence where one considers the partition of a number when all the digits from 1 to q take part in the partitions. So, this is denoted by p and q n subscript and q superscript. So, then in that case one can show that we have, we have got these relations p0 q is equal to p1 q is equal to 1 and then p n q is equal to this and similarly p n q is equal to this up to you know you are summing you know this is n minus 1 to q terms are there q terms are there in the sum. So, when q is equal to 2 we have the Fibonacci numbers 1 I mean the 0 term also I am putting 1 1 2 3 5 8 of course next is 13 not 12 and q is equal to 3 is if you take q is equal to 3 the Samasiki sama sequence will be 1 1 2 4 7 13 24 44 etcetera. So, here p n 3 is sum of the previous 3 okay. So, 4 is 2 plus 1 plus 1 7 is 4 plus 2 plus 1 13 is 7 plus 4 plus 2 like that you see. So, this also could be understood in a similar manner. So, instead of these two you know lagu and guru suppose you have lagu guru and pluta ok. So, then <coughs> you see so how, how, how is the what is the number of combinations with uh, total mantra to be n you see here what you do is suppose you can start with n minus 3 ok. Um, Uh, which is the total uh, this thing is n minus 3. So, now to it add this pluta which carries a uh, value 3 ok. So, then you will get total to be n. Similarly, n minus 2 you take and add a guru which will carry the number 2 right. So, this will be n minus 2 plus this thing that will be become this. So, and similarly n minus 1 you add the lagu here. So, this also will give rise to the 
total number n. So, if you have to sum of all these arrangements that will be this uh, S n 3 I, I mean P n 3 or S n 3 ok. So, P n 3 is you know P n 3 n minus 1 plus n minus 2 plus uh, n minus 3. So, that is how we can understand it and you can generalize it to Q. So, as you can see he is always in the business of generalization <coughs> ok. Then he generalizes the binomial coefficients also. The binomial coefficients are defined through this 1 plus x you know that it the, you get from this n c r into x to the power of r right sum is equal to r is equal to 0 to n. So, this is the binomial coefficients. So, now he is generalizing it to polynomial coefficients in Ganitha Kaumudi. So, what it does is take 1 plus x plus x square plus etcetera plus x to the power of q minus 1 whole to the power of p. So, here only the first power of x is coming now you are going up to q minus 1th power ok. So, then <coughs> you can write it as u p q because this see here only n is there one index. So, here p q is there they also fixed these things r of course varies. So, u p q r x to the power of r where the summation is from r is equal to 1 to because the highest power is here is p into q minus 1 and he gives the methods to generate u p q. Of course, he does not write it in this fashion you see. So, he will talk about you know a number 1 1 1 1 1 etcetera multiplied by several times and so on you see, but it will amount to that see and the amount to that. So, then if you take q is equal to 2 of course, it will reduce to this binomial theorem and you get p c r p 2 r otherwise and then he will given the relations between this uh, generalized Fibonacci numbers and these u's. So, that is very interesting. So, it is fairly uh, quite advanced you know it is just 14th century remember you see all these things became you know very common uh, uh, currency much later in other countries. So, it is quite comfort seems to be comfortable with these fairly advanced topics. So, uh, given a glimpse of uh, uh, Ganitha Kaumudi some of the important results some more uh, things will be discussed by Professor Srinivas. So, okay, I will stop here. Uh, yeah, that same thing as you know whatever is given in that Ganitha Sara Sangraha I told no same thing is repeated okay. yeah see many of the topics they retain those things you know. So, they because they do not want to leave anything all those things plus something kind of So, it comes in Ganitha Sara Sangraha it comes in Leelavati it comes in this thing also yes <laughs> nothing more is added as far as I know I do not think he has added anything to that yeah yeah yeah. When we are talking about the third diagonal, yeah. <coughs> when the sides uh, B and C are interchanged, we get A C prime. Okay. So, suppose we interchange the sides A and D, and we get another diagonal just out of curiosity. Ah, uh, that also it is done, but relatively, I think finally you will be essentially only three will be there. See, that will be you know rotating the whole figure. I think that's what I think. It will be ro uh, essentially rotating the whole figure. The order is what is important, no? See here you what you are saying So, whatever you see see A B C D ok. So, next uh, we are getting A B C here and D they are interchanged right. So, now you are saying suppose you interchange B and A ok. B and A let us say suppose we do. So, then this will be A C D B. So, this will be A C D B essentially it will be this triangle rotated. You are getting the same thing you see A B see uh, this is the original thing. Now, you are saying interchange this. So, B A. So, essentially what I am saying is it is this only rotated you know. So, B A C D. So, B A C D ok in the other way I mean the relations between various things will remain the same yeah. So, you will not get anything new essentially you will get two figures you know 
So that is what is. Sigma R, sigma R square, sigma R cube, and there was a double sigma. 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 Double sig the references are given here thank you